Hi everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to take some time today to fill my cup and then hopefully in doing so raise some other people's vibration who might need it. For now, let's jump in and settle and feel ourselves right now, right here. And as we settle, let's take some time to check in with our inner dialogue and use the tool of affirmations to shift our energy. I think sometimes listening to positive affirmations when we are in a big sad can be difficult. So today I really wanted to focus on realistic affirmations, affirmations that will ground and open us up to the shifting of our energy rather than just focusing on positivity. The first thing I'm gonna do is check in with my body and tell myself I'm here, I'm alive, I can feel my heart beating, blood pumping, I can feel the touch of my hands, clothes on my back and let's just note the quality of checking in. I'm here. I'm here. I'm alive. I am alive. And just note if anything comes up, if there's any discomfort or feelings. I know for me, when depression kicks in, I can feel far away from my body and it feels more difficult to sit with that discomfort. So I wanna take a second to validate that that can be happening, but you showed up, you are here, we are here, and let's affirm that we have the power to sit with discomfort. I have the power to sit with discomfort. I can be uncomfortable, and that is okay. Now let's, let's bring our hands together at our heart center and feel that touch and the warmth between our hands. Let's say, I am showing up for me. And let's take three deep breaths.
Now keep breathing. We can keep our hands here. I'm gonna drop my hand back down to my knees for some grounding. And let's affirm that we have the power to shift our energy. We have the power to shift our energy. I have the power to shift my energy. I am showing up in this moment and acknowledging that even though things feel hard, I am here and I have the power to change my reality. I've found in my journey with my mental health that the best thing that I've been able to do for myself is to build trust. Build trust with myself and then that trust ripples outwards. So as we breathe with our eyes closed here, let's affirm, I trust myself. Or, if that doesn't resonate, I can build a trust with myself. And as we repeat this affirmation, let's take a minute to acknowledge small moments, cumulative moments, where we have built a trust with ourselves, where we have showed up for ourselves, where we have followed through, even small things. I took a shower today. I brushed my teeth. I clicked my seatbelt. Any small thing or large thing, whatever it feels like, acknowledge that there are moments where I trust myself. I can build a trust with myself and that grows outwards. And just notice if anything comes up, any anxiety, any feelings of shame or pride, and just sit with them and breathe and know that it is all natural because we are here, and we are alive. And all of those feelings are a part of being alive. But we have the power to shift our energy and build trust with ourselves. And if we start to think in a negative thought spiral about moments where we have broken trust with ourselves, which is natural, let's take a moment to affirm, I forgive. I forgive myself. I forgive you. Because you're here now. And each step forward is a new chapter where we can learn we can embrace forgiveness and we can continue to grow and rebuild that trust. So in this moment, let's put our hands on our heart and feel that warmth and take a deep breath and be in our bodies and truly feel, I forgive myself. I'm trying my best, and sometimes that falls short, but I forgive myself because I'm here now and I'm building trust, I'm growing, and I'm moving forward. I don't know if you can hear, but there are some birds that have started to sing outside my window now. 
Now I know when we find ourselves in a depressive episode or struggling, feeling that we're not doing our best, it's very easy to feel connected to cycles of shame and that can manifest in the body, feeling tension, cutting ourselves off from feelings of joy and feelings of healing. And I want to take this moment to affirm that no matter where you are in your life, no matter what you've done, no matter the circumstances now, you are worthy of healing. So let's say that to ourselves. I am worthy of healing. The best thing I can do is continue to heal for myself, for the collective, for my whole life. I can heal, so I will. You are worthy of healing. I am worthy of healing. And in order to heal, we have to allow ourselves to feel joy and to feel peace and to feel things that do not come to us inherently when we are struggling with mental health. So in this moment, I'm going to flip my palms upwards. I'm going to take a deep breath. I'm going to feel the rinse of the affirmations that we've done so far. I'm going to feel my body and my heart beating, the blood pumping and bringing life to all of my cells. And I'm going to say, I can feel joy. We can feel joy. You can feel joy. I allow joy and peace and confidence and harmony in. I recognize small moments of joy and peace throughout my day. And as I notice them, I will breathe, I will state them to myself. And with that, I will start to heal. I let joy in. Now feel whatever you got to feel in this moment. If you got to shake it off, shake it off. If you want to do a couple more deep breaths, do a couple more deep breaths. And let's just feel our bodies and feel if we've shifted anything. Now we're going to do a little witchcraft, if you'll bear with me. Since we've grounded ourselves and carved out this safe space, we can now feel comfortable to do a little bit of energy work. And this is going to be very practical and something that I hope you can take with you out of this practice and into your day, just as a way to check in and maybe use some of these affirmations to continue the process of healing and reprogramming our brain and reshaping our reality. So let's take a deep breath and what we're gonna do now is tell ourselves that we are safe. I am safe. 
We are protected. I am protected. And in this moment, I am in control. There are very few things that we can control in this life, but in this moment, you are in control of your body and your spirit and your emotions. And now I am going to conjure within myself and I encourage you to do the same. The feeling of what it feels like to be depressed, to be down, to be struggling, to be heavy, to not be able to get out of bed, to not want to eat, whatever it is. Sit with that moment. For me, it feels like a heaviness in my limbs. I can feel this kind of downward sucking energy in like the right side of my head and in my heart, kind of a sinking sensation in the pit of my stomach. And the reason that we're cultivating this energy is to remind ourselves what it feels like to be triggered into this spot. And while we're in this safe space, what we can do is conjure these feelings and then shift them. And this trains our brain to form a habit of when this happens, I can then do this, right? Instead of going towards self-destructive behavior or instead of leaning on addiction or whatever we use to cope with these feelings, we can start to form these habits of when I feel this, I can do this, right? So now that we've conjured that feeling, sit with it for a moment, remind yourself what it feels like. And now, I'm going to count down from three. We're going to flip our palms up and then we're going to conjure what it feels like to feel joyful, what it feels like to feel happy. And this might not be easy, but I think we should smile, bring the corners of our lips up. Three, two, one. Sigh it out. Breathe in and feel your heart expand. Feel a tingling in your extremities, maybe in the top of your head. Feel your brow relax, and your jaw loosen, and your lips upturn and feel joyful. (sighs) I am joyful. I have the power to shift my energy. And if it helps to add some physical stimulation, you can touch the tips of each of your fingers or rub your palms together. Whatever helps ground you and remind you that when I do this, I can feel joyful. So if you're ever looking for a way to set an intention and follow through on it and find reminders of it throughout your week or your day, this is a great way to do that, to sit and conjure what you're feeling in your body and then shift that energy and start to form those habits and build that trust with yourself in a safe and controlled space so it's easier to do it out in the wild. Now, that can take a lot of work, can feel a little bit draining, so at the end of our meditation, let's close our eyes again, let's ground our hands in our lap or on our knees, and let's take five big deep breaths with the affirmation I am grateful for this time today. (sighs) 
And I really showed up for myself. I can sit with discomfort. I have the power to shift that discomfort into something beautiful. the very least to something good. I am here. I am alive. I am building trust with myself. I am forgiven. I'm trying my best. I am growing. And I am worthy of healing. I can let joy in. All right, let's lift our arms up above our head and take a big stretch. Maybe rock side to side. I definitely need to after sitting for this long. Uh, roll those shoulders back, bring something good down to your heart, and I am going to say namaste. I really appreciate you sharing this time with me. I hope it was helpful. I hope that you feel seen. Whatever you're struggling with, you're not alone, and I truly wish you just some good, healthy healing and a brighter path forward, one step at a time, one foot in front of the other. You're doing great. I'll see you next time. Bye. So I wanted to just do a quick little video in front of my lovely cabinet again on my floor. Um, something that is a little less involved than some of the crafting videos I've been doing lately. Just to say hey to my new subscribers, this is what I look like when it's not just my hands in the video. Um, and like I said, I have been in kind of a midwinter funk. This is a really tough time of year, so if there are people out there who are feeling funky, just like me, um, I just wanted to take a minute to um, say some things I definitely needed to hear and knowing that we are all connected and are all kind of in this together, um, I hope that it was helpful for some other people to hear too. So um, yeah, I really appreciate the growth of this channel so far. It is slow and steady, which is exactly how I would prefer it to be. I appreciate the support of the regular people who have been checking in on each video and for all of the new folks out there who have found me through my shorts or through my Instagram. I am just so thankful that you want to take your valuable time um, and time on the internet and spend it in my corner with me. So thank you so much. And we're getting really close to 100 subscribers. A long time ago, I said that once I reached 100 subscribers, I would randomly pick 10 of them and send them a short affirmation video, something tailored to what they might need to hear. So if you liked this video and you are not yet subscribed, definitely go do that. And also follow me on my Instagram because that's how I will be contacting folks. Um, Tell your friends, share this video if this is something that you think somebody else could benefit from, and hopefully we can grow a nice little community around our healing and realistic expectations and slow and steady growth and progression, because um, that's kind of what I'm all about. Uh, when I'm not crafting and putting things up on my Ko-Fi, so 
much. I also hope you have been enjoying that content and have been checking that out because the store is still open and I'm pretty excited about what I have up there and the plans I have for the future. That's all I have for now. I am gonna go be gentle with myself and take it easy for the rest of the day and I hope you do as well. And I just wanted to say thanks again. This was a fun little ditty and I'm very excited to do more like this. So if that excites you, definitely let me know in the comments or by liking and I will see you soon. All right, bye.